in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 9th of november and today we celebrate the dedication of the lateran basilica and now we pay attention to the gospel text of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to john chapter 2 verses 13 to 22 the passover of the jews was at hand and jesus went up to jerusalem in the temple he found those who were selling oxen and sheep and pigeons and the money changers sitting there and making a whip of cords he drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and oxen and he poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables and he told those who sold the pigeons take these things away do not make my father's house a house of trade his disciples remembered that it was written zeal for your house will consume me so the jews said to him what sign do you show us for doing these things jesus answered them destroy this temple and in 3 days i will raise it up the jews then said it has taken 46 years to build this temple and will you raise it up in 3 days but he was speaking about the temple of his body when therefore he was raised from the dead his disciples remembered that he had said this and they believed the scripture and the word that jesus had spoken the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ destroy this temple and in 3 days i will raise it up built to last the ford motor company used this slogan to advertise its trucks for many years built to last it was a very successful ad campaign but why because as we know many things don't last so many things fall apart faster than we would like not just our cars but our appliances our furniture even our homes so it's great to find something that is well built sturdy and reliable on this feast of the dedication of st john lateran we are indeed celebrating something that is built to last the church dedicated in the year 324 the basilica of st john lateran is the world's oldest church it is the cathedra or chair of the bishop of rome that is the pope it is essentially the home church for all the world's catholics but as amazing as that is it's not the real reason we are celebrating today we are celebrating because this particular church turns our thoughts toward a home that will never disappear 
Of course, the basilica will one day decay, as will all of our churches. That's because a church building is not our eternal home. But inside each church is a tabernacle where Jesus dwells. He is our eternal home. He is the one who brings God and his people together as one, something we are reminded of every time we enter a church. Every church, in fact, shows us that our eternal home is with God in Christ. So the next time you are longing for something that will last, get to church. Turn your attention toward the tabernacle where Christ dwells under the humble appearance of bread and wine. Take a moment to be still and trust that the Lord will never leave you. Let his presence nourish you and make you secure in knowing that you have a home with Christ that is built to last forever. Lord, I praise you for your steadfast faithfulness. May I learn to trust you in every situation. You are the rock on which I stand. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the psalm continues the theme of life-giving water flowing from the temple of the Lord, which was mentioned in the first reading. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response, the waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place, the dwelling place of the Most High. The waters of a river give joy to God's city the holy place, the dwelling of the Most High. God is for us a refuge and strength, an ever-present help in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains quake to the heart of the sea. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place, the dwelling of the Most High. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place, the dwelling of the Most High. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place, the dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord, the awesome deeds he has done on the earth. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place, the dwelling of the Most High. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Novena Prayer to Our Lady of Mount Carmel In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Mother of God, we greet you as Queen and Mother of Carmel. You were raised from being a lowly handmaid to the great dignity of the Mother of the Word Incarnate. We dedicate ourselves as an act of filial homage. We glorify the Holy Trinity by honoring you, and in our many needs, we have recourse to your protection and your powerful intercession. Jesus, your Son, was so obedient to you on earth, will certainly grant your petitions on our behalf. With this trust and unbounded confidence, we beseech you to hear our prayers and obtain for us of your Divine Son the favours we request in this Novena. Having experienced the efficacy of your prayers, we are full of confidence that you will gain for us this favour if it is for the glory of God and for our good. Amen. 
Let us pray for our petitions. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, and sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. Thanksgiving Prayer Holy Mother of God and Queen of Carmel, we, your children, come before you in a spirit of filial devotion and gratitude. As Mother of our spiritual life, you have obtained for us innumerable graces and blessings from our Heavenly Father, who has given to us through you the greatest of all treasures, Christ our Lord. We recognize with deep sentiments of thankfulness all the spiritual favors that have come to us through your powerful intercession. In particular, we thank you for your special protection over those who wear your holy scapula with faith and love. And finally, we thank you for answering our prayers in our personal needs. We implore from you the great grace of final perseverance that we remain faithful to the end to your Son our Lord Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray for God's blessing. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you. From above, may he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Sister Therese Mari Carmelite, Brian D'Souza from Mira Road, Mumbai, Noel Dinesh from Koimuttur, Philomena Barreto from Barkur, Anisha D'Souza from Mudbidre, Jacinta Lobo from Modenka, Sohan Desa from Angelore, Mangalore. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. Henry and Margaret Fernandez from Saklishpura, presently in Kuwait, are celebrating their wedding anniversary today. Congratulations, dear friends. May God bless your family life. And then we pray for the departed soul of 
Norin Mendonsa from Mumbai and Melly Pinto from Shirtadi. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. Have a great day, my dear friends, and a weekend. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.